Here we are, the sweet as adventurers, running around the motorhome, and we've made it to a historic place of which I could be. A, I wish I was more historic in the history of it. All I know is it's very carefully, and it was a town that was set up for a, a mine. I think it may be a uranium mine, and yeah, either life expectancy of the mine or um, yeah I'll find out but there's a there's a history map somewhere so we we did a bit of a quick trip uh, from um, the dinosaur creek to here we flew through uh, walkabout creek Konkari couldn't get up to the the silo at um, Chinaman Creek there it was um, a big sign there that said no caravans no trailers no trucks well I think we ticked a few of those boxes and um, yeah, filled up there and um, got some water for this trip. Um, I'm thinking about doing two nights, but um, we might just do the one night. They, they were talking about the uh, the the, uh, the mine site if we can get to it. It's only about four k's, three and a half, four k's from here. If I can get the bikes going, get out there, and uh, see if we can find that. They say that the mine site's quite good at noon because obviously the colours of the, the water and everything like that will be at its best. So yeah, this is a fabulous spot down here at uh, Mary Kathleen. Or Catherine, Mary Catherine. Oh, better check on that one again. Put it down below, Jude. Um, there's just a bunch of um, little roads going around the place. Find me over here. There's a pad somebody's driveway some some house or donger or something like that was all on these spots there's schools post offices um, we'll, we'll find them as we have a, a, a little explore so yeah I've just found a little spot here parked up on the pad put out the awning and hey no TV I believe nobody's aerials are up at least I can see that and vouch for that um, no Wi-Fi so that's cool Jude's got no excuse just to chill out and relax. Sun going down on a fab spot. Great meal. Rest and relax and see what tomorrow brings. Yeah, just gotta get my gear on, um, helmet. Got a GPS. One thing I've learnt with uh, being in WA out of Kalgoorlie, um, it's handy to have one of these. Um, we've got plenty of people around, the road looks fairly well marked in, but you know, there's always that take a wrong road, get yourself bushwhacked, so I've learnt a GPS is always handy. The other thing that's really handy, an emergency locator beacon. Even though we might know where we're going, somebody could have an accident or yeah we do get lost so um, especially being on the mountain bikes so I've got in here a, uh, a little EPUB emergency locator beacon and gee you flick up a little aerial um, break out the little tab sends a signal obviously you know, within reason you don't go abusing the system um, but yeah if snake bites or you know you've fallen down a gully or something like that and you can't get out no phone signal this comes in handy and it doesn't take much to carry around so you're ready to go there Jude yep I'm ready to go let's go waypoints in so yep we're ready to go alrighty we have found it to the message board it wasn't too far and it looks like it's in pretty much um, the, the town the town square I guess we must be over here what else has got there Jude well, they had um, staff single quarters. Over there, was it? Yeah. yeah they even got a golf course and golf course. bowling club. Cinema. Swimming pool. We'll have to see if we can find where the swimming pool was. Yeah. Primary school, tennis court, service station. And over here, they've got orchard and market gardens. Executive houses. And look, if you can see this picture here, isn't it lovely? Like, it was really nice here. Um, Art Deco, mm. doesn't it? Definitely. 
post office. What is that? The community community store. Must be like a general store, maybe. Church. That was the school. No idea. Oh, it's that one. The MK Centre. Oh, here you go. Here we go. That's where it says the plaque is. There's a little fountain there. That's general the stops. There. Fire station. Police station. So yeah. So what does it say there? Give a quick read of Rio Tinto gave the highest priority to the building of Mary Kathleen Township. Excuse the drone noise. We just got here first, but somebody else is just coming behind us. But we just cycled 8.5 nearly k's from our accommodation to Mary Kathleen. Well done, dude. The hardest bit was missing the cows and uh, getting up the rocky bits. Um, there was a few rocky areas and yeah, bull dust and everything, so you had to avoid those and the major potholes. But step aside. That view is worth it. Look at that. And yeah, that sun's just tipping that water down there on the corner beautifully. Walls, we've got no sun on the walls over here and you sort of get the, the raw sort of color without any sun. Well, I guess it's wagons ho. Sun's got up pretty well. 
see half the, the lake down there. Pretty spot, lots of people coming and going. Great for flying drones. There's quite a few people out here that are flying their drones, so good for a bit of dro drone skill. In my case, I'm pleased Jude came along to keep an eye out where it was. <laughs> anyway, let's climb on the bikes and make our way back. Beautiful campsite. Watching the sun go down. Well, we're kind of watching the sun down, go down, but we're engrossed in a wonderful movie. Down at the abandoned town Mary Kathleen, you can get some unexpected visitors very close to your campsite. They are friendly, more afraid of you than you could be of them. Alrighty, wagon, wagons ho! Let's go for it. Get that trailer going this way. That's perfect. Looking good. Looking good. Yep. Sweetly done. And uh, yeah, off to the next adventure. See you in Mount Isa. <laughs>